Cyberpunk 2077 released two years ago on December 10th, 2022, and it was seen as a massive flop of a game. A lot of people loved it, a lot of people hated it, and no matter where you looked online, you would always see so many people talking about, oh, this bug, that bug, this bug, that bug, and it was like, even when you were skipping forwards in dialogue, there was bugs that were happening out of absolutely nowhere, such as like chopsticks from someone eating food duplicating, faces just completely getting stretched out while the eyeballs are staying in place, and tons of weird stuff. So obviously the game had a very terrible past despite it being an honestly pretty fun experience that caused a lot of people me included to just not really play it too much because of the bad reputation it actually had you know we ended up getting a little bit like tired of just seeing everyone complaining non-stop on twitter reddit everywhere else and we decided to not really spend as much time as we might have wanted to with the game however two years later we're back once again talking about cyberpunk 2077 because the cyberpunk edge runners anime recently released and it was a banger anime I just want to mention right now it was absolutely awesome I loved it you know unique art style everything else it was super good to watch and everything it was made by studio trigger a beautiful amazing anime studio and it caused the actual cyberpunk video game to become a massive success overnight out of absolutely nowhere and in fact if we go to Steam right now cyberpunk 2077 has 88,000 people playing it on Steam with a 24 hour peak of hundred and two thousand players now keep in mind this game peaked two years ago on Steam when it had 1 million people playing it at the same time and while this is a fraction of the original player base it's way better than what it was doing in the past few months where it only averaged around 10,000 to 25,000 players playing at any given time so seeing this little boost that is bigger than the most recent boost is happening it makes me super happy to see what happened right it makes me super happy to see how an anime managed to revive an entire game however I want to show this clip from the developer two days ago over on Twitch where they talked about about the difficult premiere and launch of the Cyberpunk 2077 video game, and honestly, it just really puts me in the fill. So let's go ahead and roll that clip and then talk about it. When when I was sitting there in that armchair, you know, like just listening to the questions and thinking, what the hell I'm supposed to say? It's hard to express, you know. Like when you're putting so much heart and, and soul into something. And you know, for some of us, it's been like, what, six, seven, eight years sometimes. You know, especially for those who started at the very beginning. So like to have this moment of, of actually like people, you know, liking something that we did is, is really... Is really feeling like a bit unreal. You know, that, that finally are people appreciating it. Like, I, like, after the release, I couldn't believe, you know. Like, after some time, of course, I did, but... But at the beginning, I, I just couldn't believe. And I remember uh, Sapphire, who, who was with me at that time, uh, my dear girlfriend, she... She was like seeing me fucking completely wrecked. Yeah, but it's uh, it's good to be back, you know. It's fucking good to be back. Uh, honestly, I was really so. Uh, it was sort of heartbreaking. This song really makes me Now, if I'm being completely honest, after seeing that clip, it kind of reinforces this idea I had a long time ago regarding the reason why Cyberpunk 2077 released as soon as it did back in 2020, and I really don't think it was about the developers, right? I think the developers didn't want to release the game when they did, but I think it was actually more an issue of the higher-ups at, you know, the studio and investors um, potentially, you know, pulling out the money that they were going to share and, you know, invest in the company if they didn't release the game in time for their investment to release 
see any profits or anything like that. Now, I will admit that I don't know anything about, you know, investing. I'm not an expert in that whole entire field, but it is just a theory of mine based on leaked developer footage because a long time ago when there was leaked developer footage that, you know, came out shortly after the whole entire glitch fest that, uh, like, controversy or whatever that was all over Reddit everywhere else, one thing that a lot of people were seeing and a lot of people noticed is in the leaked developer video, it mentioned that the release date on, you know, the actual executable file was said to be 2023. It was either that or 2022, basically one of the upcoming years that we're not even currently in right now. And it really makes me wonder, okay, so if they plan to release this a few years ahead of time, not all the way back in 2020, was this an issue with the executives and higher ups and all that type of stuff? And that's personally my head and that's personally how I feel about the situation. You know, I think that that might be the cause of all the chaos that ensued with Cyberpunk 2077. But at the same time, I'm just super happy to see that despite all of these issues, right? Despite all the mishaps or whatever else, the anime, the Cyberpunk Edgerunners anime, somehow managed to revive the game at least, you know, to a fraction of what it was before, allowing a lot more people to talk about the game, play the game, enjoy it. And sure, of course, there's going to be glitches here and there. And I've experienced a few glitches already while playing it again, but at the same time, it's like at least it's not like it was before, where you were literally having glitch after glitch after glitch after glitch, even if you weren't intentionally trying to find a glitch. It was like you would still find something happening. So, you know, of course the game's going to be buggy, but it does mean that we could potentially see more cyberpunk stuff in the near future, past just the brand new DLC that's going to be releasing in 2023. On top of this, we have to keep in mind that the current Cyberpunk 2077 game was made with the uh, Red Engine. It was their homebrew, you know, custom-built engine that they made in their studio, and they used it for this game. They also used it for the Witcher games before, but with the brand new Witcher game they're making, it's going to be an Unreal Engine 5, which makes me think, are they going to end up making a brand new Cyberpunk-themed game? A new game of the Cyberpunk world that uses the Unreal Engine 5 system, and could that potentially mean that there's a lot less bugs? Because with a system like, you know, Unreal Engine, you're not having to worry about an issue where, you know, there's all these other bugs that are built into your engine, where you have to fix the engine in order to fix it in the game, and with Unreal Engine, they're able to try making maybe a more bug-free experience, maybe a higher quality experience with less lagging issues and stuff like that, and it really gives me hope, since we do know, based on what developers and stuff have said, that they plan to have more stuff in the Cyberpunk 2077 world, or I guess, you know, the same idea, coming out in the the future so I hope whatever ends up releasing with this game ends up being a home run you know I hope the next product doesn't end up becoming like another glitch fest mockery thing where everyone just makes fun of it and I hope that it ends up getting the success that I feel the cyberpunk series really deserves because as I'm going back through and playing through cyberpunk 2077 I'm having a lot of fun right I'm going through I'm collecting everything I'm using my tech visor upgrading my armor or I guess not my armor but I guess my biotech I don't remember what it's exactly called here I would try finding it my game's lagging a little bit of uh, the cyber deck but yeah I, I have a, had a lot of fun recently now of course as you're seeing right here the game is pretty laggy whenever you leave menus and stuff I assume that's because you know uh, with the engine and everything the way they handle like ray tracing is a little bit different so whenever you exit a menu the ray tracing tries like reapplying on everything or something like that but it's small things that you know can be brushed aside you know I can obviously just turn ray tracing off and enjoy the game without it in order to still have a fun experience playing it and in order to actually see all the dialogue storyline and stuff with all of the brand new patches and whatever else is happening here oh no oh I did not want to battle hold up hold up um can we can we talk about this please let me just uh, let me just run away real quick anyways yeah basically I've been having a lot of fun with this game this car looks cool I hope I can keep it <laughs> and I'm super happy to see that the game got revived due to oh god please don't be copyrighted hold up hold up there we go but I'm happy to see that the game got revived due to an anime and it really shows that sometimes even when your game is in a bad spot you can make it a lot better just by working on oh god driving sucks right now for me i need to get used to this at least on keyboard and mouse but it's like you can really fix up a game just with a few years of developer love tons of little like side things or whatever and just content that really makes people want to continue playing your game so i am just you know going to probably sit here and enjoy cyberpunk in my free time and enjoy all the things that the new version of it or i guess you know updated version with all bug fixes and all that type of stuff has to offer for me and i would love to hear in the comments down below how do you feel about cyberpunk 2077 do you enjoy the game do you dislike the game do you like the anime but not the game 
game? Or did the anime get you back into the game? Something along those lines. I'm just curious what everyone out there has to say. And I will see you, Tramps and Trampettes, next time with another YouTube video. Peace out.